that squirrel is a good example of clinging. Just does the same thing over and over and over again, regardless of what the consequences are. And this is how we cling in our minds. The image of clinging sometimes has the unfortunate image of a hand that holds on to something. It's better to think of it as an activity you do again and again and again, without checking to see are the results good or are they not good. This is why we suffer, because we're not looking at our actions, we're not looking at the results of our actions. So we need to develop more alertness. This is why alertness is one of the most important qualities in the meditation. You want to see clearly what you're doing. When the Buddha recommends being in the present moment, it's not just hanging out in the present moment and enjoying whatever you sense in the present moment. It's realizing there are duties to be done, and right now is the time to do them. So again, the focus is on not only what you are doing, but what you should be doing. That's where alertness moves into ardency. And of course, it requires mindfulness to remember what are the Buddha's shoulds. The Buddha has lots of shoulds. Years back, I was sitting in on a course someone was teaching on the Garnaniya Metta Sutta. First line, this is what should be done by someone who aims at a state of peace. Hand rose in the group. I thought the Buddhism didn't have any shoulds. I spent the whole morning talking about whether or not Buddhism had shoulds. It's full of shoulds. The Buddha said that was his, or one of the primary duties of a teacher, is to give you a good foundation for figuring out what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Otherwise, the teachings don't have any real benefit for you, because it points to the fact that you are shaping your experience right now, and you need some guidance, because the pattern of cause and effect is complex. And so it's good to see someone who's figured it out, and not just figured it out, it saw that you could adjust the pattern of cause and effect to put an end to suffering. That's the important thing. So part of that is to remember that you are shaping your experience through the way you breathe, through the way you talk to yourself, to the images you hold in mind, the feelings you focus on. And as you pay more attention to what you're doing as to what's happening outside, the clinging gets less. You begin to cling to things that are a little bit more skillful. And the reason they're skillful is they can finally take you to a place where you don't have to cling at all. But in the meantime, hold on to what's good, let go of what's bad and what's useless. You'll find that you really do benefit from what the Buddha had to teach. The teaching มันตื่นพอมันตื่นเสร็จแล้วมันก็ไม่รู้จะทำอะไรก็ทำแค่นี้ไม่หยุดไม่หย่อนเดี๋ยวก็หยุดสักพักหนึ่งแต่มันทำ